it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. Today I am bringing you um, another of the new uh, second release celebration items. Uh, this is the Eclectic Expressions stamp set. Um, it is gorgeous. I love um, oh timeless textures, gorgeous grunge, the Southern Serenade in the new spring summer. Gorgeous grunge retiring was probably my biggest time of morning um, but hey we've got other things that we can use instead so it's fine and this is one of them and I have made this card now I've taken the idea for this from the new uh, release leaflet which I stupidly have left the other side of the room why would I ever prepare um, so I use this card here as my inspiration for my little card so it's the same but different if you see what I mean but it's you can see where I came where I got from so this is the new um, second release celebration leaflet you can print this off from my website uh, if you want a copy um, I haven't got any at the moment but I can I'm getting some so if you want a copy, um, just leave me a comment or uh, drop me a, a message on my website um, or drop me an email and I will get that to you as quickly as I can. If you still haven't got a spring summer catalogue or the main celebration catalogue, um, there's a form on my website requesting those. So um, do just pop over there. There's a link to that immediately below this video. So do jump over there and we can get that sorted out for you. This catalogue does have all of the previous celebration items in it as well. Um, so it's the it's the three new items, which is this stamp set, the beautiful foiled uh, springtime foil specialty designer series paper, which I showed you yesterday, I think, if my scheduling goes according to plan, um, and the blossoming basket bundle, which I showed you on Friday if my scheduling's gone to plan. Um, so yeah, this is the last one of the new items that I have to show you. So it's a it's a square card. Now I will need to put an insert in the middle um, because writing on Nella Mambo is a little challenging. Um, but I think this is beautiful. I think it's really um, pretty. It's, you could change up the Nella Mambo for a more masculine color. Um, if you wanted to send it to a, uh, a male recipient rather than female. But quick, easy, so, I mean, so easy. And it brings in this whole rainbow feel that's going on at the moment, which I have yet to embrace. So I am starting with a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at three and a half inches square. I have got pretty much the whole of the Bright's um, collection. Not all of them, but pretty much all of them. So I've got Real Red. Can you see all of those? Yes, you can. Real Red, Tangerine Tango. If you don't have Tangerine Tango, you can change that for Pumpkin Pie. Um, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, and Melon Mambo. Now, the Melon Mambo cardstock that I have used is from the, is it the Falling in Love? It's the Love Suite from the Spring Summer Catalog. Um, and the reason I have used that, painted with love, the reason I have used uh, the cardstock from this is it comes 12 by 12 um, and I cut the, the, the card is 4 by 4, which means that you can get her, uh, I think it's four cards out of one sheet of 12 by 12 and you only end up with one 4 by 4 piece left. So it's a really great way of using your 12 by 12s just so you've got that in mind. Um, and then just a piece of black. So four by four card, so four by eight inches score down the middle, three and a half inches square whisper white, three and five inches square basic black. Uh, dimensions will be over on my blog. So uh, I only need two stamps, which is this splodge here and the happy birthday. And I am going to do an exact replication uh, you can make it a thank you card instead, but I'm going to stick with happy birthday because I like it. Um, I'm using a D block that is far too large, but you know, sometimes these things happen. 
Um, right, and of course I've now got these in the wrong order, but I'll do it backwards. Okay, so we're going to start with Melon Mambo. Um, now, if you want to be absolutely precise on your placing, you can start with the old olive in the middle and work outwards. But hey, when did I ever do anything that was precise? So I'm doing it with the rounder edge to the left, but it doesn't matter. And all I'm doing is just finding roughly the middle and stamp stamping. Um, I am going to clean off in between each colour. Um, because obviously I don't want to mix my colours in the ink pads. So Pacific Point. And I know there's a whole debate about whether you put your pink purple at this end or that end. As far as I'm concerned, you put it as far away from the red as possible, um, purely because they kind of don't really go together. Um, they're not a nice look on top of each other to my eye. Um, obviously everybody is different, so yeah. Um, Bermuda Bay I'm using, you could use uh, Tempting Turquoise if you would rather. Um, there is a certain amount of, you know, just go with what you like or what you've got. Um, obviously because I'm using most of the Brights collection, I will be suggesting that you get the whole of the Brights collection because in doing so you save 10% um, and we like to save money. So if you don't already have the Brights collection, get it as a collection um, because yeah, it's the best way to do it. So that was Old Olive, now we're on Daffodil Delight. Now, if you wanted to make a batch of these and you could make them as a batch of thank you cards, ooh, Oh, now there's a thought. Um, then you could do all of one colour and then, you know, just switch out and then you wouldn't have to keep changing, um, changing ink pads and cleaning your stamp. So, yes, if you were if you were looking to do a, a whole range, then um, do them all in one and do all of your Melon Mambo and then all of your Pacific Point, etc, etc. Um, and it saves quite a lot of cleaning. And quite a lot of opening and closing of ink pads. Right, last one, real red. And as you can see, it's fairly easy just to whiz across your piece of cardstock and adjust where you're stamping so that you've got uh, got them reasonably well spread out. But as I say, I'm not going for complete accuracy. So that's that bit. I'm going to leave that just to dry a little bit before I come in with the washi tape because we're going to use washi tape. That's what this is in the background here. Um, this is just an off cut of Whisper White. It's I get these off cuts when I do my um, cut my card bases uh, or my mats rather. So actually I like I don't know why, but if I'm using a block that's too big, I like to have the words at the top. Now I am using I thought I was. Oh, there we are. I'm using Basic Black. You could use um, Memento. Basic Black is a blacker black, um, which for this I want a definitely black black. Um, so that's why I'm using this one. What I would just remind you is that if you're using Basic Black on Photopolymer, or indeed Basic Grey, but less so with Basic Grey, um, they do stain your photopolymer stamps, um, so clean very quickly. Um, they will stain your red rubber if you don't clean very quickly, um, but then you can you can give them a good old scrub with your stamp and scrub, and they will come clean. Um, but basic black does give you a much blacker black, um, which for this is good. So. Just a pair of snips and cut that sort of straight. Um, and that's that. Right, so this should now be dry. So I've got here the, now what does it call itself? Pick a pattern washi tape, uh, which is in the main annual catalogue. Do remember, we still have a main annual catalogue. Um, I know we get all distracted. Um, I have used the very narrow, stripey, um, washi tape. Really, taking again my inspiration from the stamp set, this is stripey. I mean, no one who 
gets the card is going to know that it's stripy, but that's no reason to not get your inspiration from somewhere. Um, which I'll come down a wee bit. Now, I did when I started, get rid of the scrap for the moment, when I started putting the original together, I did go, I need all my stripes to line up. Yeah, no, forget that one. It ain't going to happen, so just accept that they're not going to line up. I mean, they will, because it is a pattern, but life, frankly, is too short to worry about it. So I'm just running it straight across my card base so that it's slightly longer, and then just tuck the ends under, and that's that. Um, now, I have spritzed with um, Wink of Stella. On the original, I waited until I'd put the whole card together because I then decided it needed a something. This time, I'm actually going to do my spritzing before I do anything else. So, I've got my Wink of Stella and a big pair of scissors because they're solid. Um, I'm going to make sure that there is Wink of Stella ready to go and just whack. And it just gives you a little shimmer of Wink of Stella, um, which is just, it just adds a something. Um, and I kind of forget my Wink of Stella every now and again. I go through phases where I remember I've got it. Um, right, so the happy birthday needs to be popped up on some dimensionals. So I'm going to use three just so that it's safe in the post. So one in the middle and one at each end. Um, if you're hand delivering, probably only need two, one at each end. Um, but, you know, hey, whatever. And then pop that across the middle-ish of your card. And then bring in our, don't need the scrap anymore, bring in our black and I've got some fast fuse. Remember it going. We've got to start mourning our fast fuse. We, I have no doubt there'll be something else instead. We don't know what. Um, but if you like fast fuse, now is the moment to pop over to my online store and stock up. Uh, we have been told that once stocks in any particular region go, they are not going to be replenished, even if they run out before the end of May. So once Fast Fuse has gone, it has gone. Be warned. Um, right, so this is my eight by four inch card base. Um, scored down the middle and just burnish. And this time I am actually going to use my multi-purpose glue. I didn't use the multi-purpose glue on the Whisper White because that can, um, the, the glue can come through, and I don't mean it comes through, I mean it can leave a kind of ridge, um, but with the uh, coloured cardstock that's not an issue, and we've got two layers anyway. I'm only not doing that because I've still got a little bit of Wink of Stella that is a little damp. And then I'm using the Glitter Enamel Dots, which again are from the annual catalogue. These are the ones that are beautifully ombre. They're dapper denim, uh, crushed curry, rich raspberry, and old olive. Um, and I accept that I have not used, apart from the old olive, I haven't used those colours in this, but they work. So I'm going to start with, I'll do the same spread as I did before, dapper denim in the bottom right hand corner, crushed curry just here, and I'm going to offset that slightly. And then I'm just using slightly different sizes on this um, than the original. Oh, I wasn't using old olive, was I? I was using rich raspberry. Um, because actually this, because it's ombre, it fades quite nicely into the melon mambo. I like my triangles. If you've seen me before, um, you know I like my triangles because it gives you a focal point. So just pop these back. I like to keep my um, self-adhesive... Um, embellishments, that's the word, uh, in these half wood stamp sets and then I just have um, on the outside the numbers and what they are so that I know what's in there. So there we go! Two nice little uh, eclectic expression birthday cards. So I hope you have enjoyed that. 
it's a super little set um, remember all you have to do to qualify to get this for free um, is spend 45 pounds or a multiple of 45 pounds in my online store for 45 pounds you can pick this for free um, there are a couple of items in the celebration catalog including the new blossoming basket bundle where you need to put a 90 pound order in um, but yeah most of them the 45 pounds and for every 45 pounds you spend you can select a new item so i hope you enjoyed that if you don't already subscribe do remember to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner um, i'm very very close to getting 3,000 subscribers which would be lovely to get um, i'm i'm about 40 off as we record as i've recorded this so not too far to go um, and it would be just such it would just be a nice milestone to hit really it doesn't do anything for me other than hit a milestone i like round figures um if you need any of the items do hop over to my online store you can either go via my uh blog which is linked immediately below or you'll see there's another um url in the description bar which takes you to all my social media links including my online store i think i think i think yes i do um but certainly on my website all the dimensions, all the items that I've used will be listed there. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I would love to earn your custom if you would like to order anything. Um, any questions, any queries, just drop me a comment, drop me an email and I will get back to you. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye!